Welcome to Dare to Play. This week we will be talking about Ascension. Uh, Ascension was brought to us by Gary Games, and it is a deck building game for two to four players. Each copy of Ascension comes with the playboard, 25 red honor tokens, 25 clear honor tokens, and 200 cards. There are several different types of cards. Each player begins the game with eight apprentices and two militias. Apprentices give you one rune. A rune is used to buy cards. Basically, it's the currency of Ascension. Each card that you can buy has a different rune value. Void Initiate, for example, has a one rune value, so you only need one rune to purchase it. Militias are similar to Apprentices in that they give you one power. Power is similar to runes, except that it is used to kill monsters. For instance, Mistake of Creation costs 4 power to kill, so you would need 4 militias to kill it. Now you can't get 4 militias. There are only 2 militias available to each player, so in order to get more power and kill higher level monsters, then a player would use apprentices to buy heavy infantry cards. Now, heavy infantries are basically upgraded militias. They give you two power instead of just one. They cost two runes each, so they're really not that expensive. Mystics are kind of like the heavy infantries of apprentices. Mystics give you two runes apiece and cost three to buy. As mentioned before, there are other types of cards. Heroes and constructs are cards that can be purchased using runes. Heroes and Constructs are fairly similar in that when they are acquired, they go into a player's discard pile at the end of their turn. Monsters, on the other hand, are killed and then sent straight to the void, and the player collects the reward listed on the card. Mistake of Creation, for example, gives you 4 honor, and you may banish a card in the center row of cards and or in your discard pile. Once a card is removed from the center row, the space that it occupied must be filled. So a card is taken straight from the portal deck and placed in the spot that that card was in. Each hero and construct card also has an honor value. At the end of the game, that value will be added to the total number of honor tokens that a player has to determine the winner. The player with the most honor at the end of the game is the winner. The game begins with each player shuffling their deck of 10 cards. Each player then draws five cards from their deck, and the game begins. Whichever player goes first will look at their hand and determine what they can do. I have ended up with five apprentices, which means that I have five runes to spend on any cards in the center row or on heavy infantries and mystics. For instance, I can go for a snapdragon, which costs five runes, or I can go for a druids of the stone circle and an aura initiate. It's really up to each player as to which path they decide to take. In this instance, I will go for a Druids of the Stone Circle, which is a lifebound hero, and an Ara Initiate, which is an enlightened hero. The spaces in the center row are then filled with cards from the portal deck, and it is the next player's turn. Any cards acquired during my turn will go straight into the, the discard pile with the apprentices I have spent. Each player will then continue their turn until it gets back to me. On my turn, I will again draw five cards from my deck, and this time I have ended up with three apprentices and two militias. Now there's nothing in the center row that I can kill with two militias, so I will use both of them to produce two power and to kill a cultist. A cultist is a monster. Just like any other monster, they end up in the void after they are killed except that they come back immediately. A cultist is always worth one honor as a reward. After it is killed, the player that killed it will acquire one honor token. Now I also have three apprentices to use. These three apprentices will produce three runes. And again, there is nothing in the center row that I can buy with three runes. So I could either acquire a heavy infantry or a mystic. In this case, I will acquire a mystic. Now that my entire deck has been used and sent to my discard pile, I will shuffle my discard pile and it will become my new deck.
Play will continue on in this manner, with each player using what cards they draw to gain honor, to acquire cards, to kill monsters, until all of the honor tokens have been used up. Now there are different values of honor tokens. Each red token is worth 5 honor, and each white token is worth 1. There are different numbers of honor tokens used depending on how many players are playing. For two players, for instance, only 60 honor is in play. Once all honor tokens have been acquired, the round will continue until all players have finished an equal number of rounds. Honor totals will then be calculated based on the number of honor tokens a player has acquired and the honor value of each card that they have acquired. The player with the most honor wins the game. Thanks for watching Dare to Play. This week we dared you to play Ascension. You can also find Ascension in the iOS App Store for iPhone and iPad.